Hey YouTube, it's Freedom for Kaz, and I'm going to be making a uh, survival video here today. And uh, I'm going to be making my video on uh, what should be going into your survival pack and in what order. Okay? There's a lot of videos out there about survival packs, and uh, the one thing that I want to do is I want people to understand that if all you have is your survival pack, if all that you have is your weapon, and if you think that when the shit hits the fan, that that's all you're going to need when you go out into the forest or woods or take it on foot, if you think that you have your bug off bag and your weapon and that's going to be enough, I'm sorry, but uh, you're going to need more than that. And the reason why I say that is because I've seen a lot of videos on survival bags, bug out bags, get out of dodge bag. My son calls his a get out of dodge bag. But my point is, is this. It's going to take more than just a bug out bag because I do a lot of rustic camping. My point is that when I go rustic camping, the first couple of days that I go, pretty tough. You're out there on your own, by yourself. There's no one to talk to. And I couldn't imagine I'm putting the pressure of Big Brother being behind you, or just behind you, or a day behind you. My point is, is this. If you don't have a plan of action, if you think that when the shit hits the fan, if you're just going to live out in the woods with your bug out bag and your gun, you're going to need a better plan. But anyway, we'll talk about that in another video. Today's video is about water. Now, the importance of water, everybody knows, if you don't have water, you're going to die. Now, I've seen a lot of packs, a lot of people have one, one way to purify water. In my pack, I have one, two, three, four ways of purifying water. Now, a lot of people might say, well, that's a little overkill. Is it really? I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think so, think so is that if any one of those break down, I've got three ways to purify water. If another system breaks down, I've got two ways, and so on and so forth. So let's get going here. The number one and the smallest way to purify water is by using tablets. Okay. Now I use portable aqua, and it comes in a two-pack system. Okay. This takes 35 minutes to purify any amount of water. These two bottles here will purify up to six gallons. Okay. Now, besides purifying water, I carry water with me. I carry two 16 ounce bottles of water, and I carry one empty 16 ounce bottle of water. The reason why the one is empty is because if I come across a creek or a stream, while I've got water on me, I can purify water at the building. Okay. You always want to replenish your water system. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is emergency water. And what I mean by that is, is that I have this canadine system. This canadine system is a pump system. It's very easy to pump. You take one finger to pump this thing. Okay, this thing will pump about 500 gallons. And the reason why this is for emergencies is because of this end here. This end here, you drop into a river, lake, or stream, and you simply pump. The water comes out the bottom. There's a reservoir here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole right there. Okay. And this bottom also comes out. This will fit onto your camelback. 
this will fit on some most water, water containers. You could direct fill your Camelback water containers by simply pumping. Okay. This is a two micron filtering system. What is a micron? In case you don't know what a micron is, look it up. Go to Google and type in micron. It is unbelievably small. If I were to take a piece of hair, and now I've got a three inch piece of hair. If I were to slice that three inch piece of hair a hundred times to where I have 100 three inch lengths of hair, a micron is one of those 100 pieces. That's how tiny the micron is. This is a two micron filter. It's my canadine system. It's an amazing filter. Another filtering system that I have is by Sawyer. Okay, and you can see the filters right in there. You unscrew this, you fill this up. I got some other parts in there, but you fill this up. You drop this in there. Okay. Flip it open. Put the drink. Okay. This is for emergencies only, but this is you know a portable system. Now the one thing that's good about this is that when you get to your base camp or you set up your base camp, if you have additional hoses, what you can do is you can disconnect this from here. You can turn this into a gravity feed system. So where if let's say you've got this hooked to a five gallon bucket on top where you would fill the water or in a the filtering system into a reservoir container, you got fresh water. Okay. This can also be used as a filtering gravity feed system. So those are three ways of filtering. Now, the last way I have of filtering is the old-fashioned way. Okay. And I just wanted you to know, okay, here it is. This is a Sawyer system. They're both good for 500 gallons. And the Sawyer system is a one micron system, which is even smaller than, than the pump by Canadine. You can go back to Old Faithful. I have a one cup pot here that I do put in my pack. Draw back here. This is bulky. Okay. It also requires a fire. That's not good. If I can't purify water without a fire, what good is it? The same thing with this. This is a canteen cup. Again, it's bulky. Put this on a fire. This handle is going to get hot. Sure, you can boil it for a while, but when you go to grab this puppy, you're burning the hand. Okay, you're going to have some other way to reach inside here, like a clip, which I have. You clip in there and take this out of the fire. Open these up. Hopefully, you won't knock the water over. And you can drink it. But my point is, is purification. Purification is key. With these systems here, you don't need to boil. I've used these systems myself while frosted camping. That's the Sawyer system. And the canadine system. This canadine pump comes apart real quick. You know, it's a real good system. It's a twist. This is a ceramic filter there. There's another filter inside here. Yes. Let's see that real quick too. That is the ease of the canadine system. Out of all the purification systems that I have, I think canadine system the best. Sawyer system is good. It, it makes an excellent gravity feed system. I also have one more system that I don't have here, and that's called the platypus system, and that is a gravity feed system. The one thing great about gravity feed systems is that they can be continuous. As long as you have a reservoir to fill, and as it goes through, if you've got a reservoir to catch, it will be fine. You can fill there. Those filters are good for 500 gallons before they need to be washed. That's one thing that's great about those systems. Water is key. Without water, you're done. You need more than one way to purify. Okay, people? Please put that stuff in your pack.